so in this video i am going to be talking about how you can automate stuff using python so as if you have used tr transmission torrent client you must have an idea about how uh, transmission handles the addition of magnet links like you can only add a single torrent magnet link at a time so you cannot add multiple uh, torrent links over here so if, no matter how many you paste in this uh, dialog box it will only add the first torrent magnet link and the rest will be ignored so i google around google around a bit to find a solution for this but mostly the those solutions were for python uh, for linux sorry. so because there is a transmission cli client for linux that can be installed and uh, we can essentially do the same thing that i have done over here so what i have done over here is uh, if, uh in the transmission uh client you if you go to preferences uh, you can <coughs> see in the preferences remote option so what the what does this do is it opens up a web interface for transmission from which you can add torrents and de uh, delete and view status of uh, your active torrents so I have enabled the remote functionality of uh, transmission app and now if we look at the request and responses of the transmission app like how what requests are being sent in order to get the in order to add torrent link over here so we can do that from here let me open up a file for adding a torrent link okay so i have two magnet links over here so let's see how the request is being sent to the server in order to add a magnet link So I'm going to paste uh, the link over here and I'm going to see the request on the network and this is the download path where it will be downloaded. So let's click on upload and this must have, this is going to create a request. with all the parameters over here so you can <coughs> so this is the uh, this is the request <coughs> this is the request that is uh, sent to the server in order to add a torrent so we can see that the request is in json format and we can easily create a python script that takes these parameters at j as a json file and uh, make a request to the server in order to add the torrent to the uh, to our uh, transmission client so we can replay this request multiple times in order to add as many magnet magnet links as you want as so you, we will be able to add <coughs> multiple magnet links using this uh, web request so let me show you the code uh, what is doing I am just using simple requests uh, module of the uh, request module of Python and what I have done is I have stored all the magnet links in a file named dl.txt and I am reading that file 
and storing all the magnet links in the links variable so next what we need to do is as transmission a web client automatically blocks CSRF attacks like we cannot replay a request multiple times without proper headers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply uh, make a get request and get authenticated uh, headers from uh, get authenticated re response from the server and I'm going to store that response in this variable s because we are going to use this uh, in the next step so just for opening up multiple links what i have done is i have used a for loop on links as all the magnet links are in this variable and it is going to <coughs> get all the magnet links one by one and make this request with the <coughs> that is in json format and it will add all the links one by one in this request and then send the request send the request in post post method to the transmission server and it will include authenticated headers as we already had a authenticated response stored in s so we can add the headers over here and the json body that we want to send that is over here in the payload so it will iterate through all the magnet links in uh, in the file and add those links into the transmission app and after that it will show that it is all all the links are added you can change the download directory where the downloads are going to be stored so in this case i am using movies directory in my home uh, in my users folder so you can change this path to anywhere you want to store the files so let me just see what i have in this file so it is empty i'm going to copy these links over here so as you can see the links are in, uh, separated by a new line character so each magnet link has to be in a separate line in order to in order for this to work correctly so i have two magnet links over here that are on separate lines i'm going to save it and let's uh, run the this script over here so let's run it and you can see over here it was real quick and it has already added the links to the transmission app so if we open up transmission you can see there is a, a other link of uh, the anime that i am watching over here so you can see the first one was uh, manually added and when i ran the request ran the script and it had this duplicate request so it didn't add the <laughs> duplicate torrent magnet link as it is already downloading and the ones that are not added it will automatically add those links into the uh, torrent client and it will automatically start the download procedure and it will continue downloading so this is a real simple method of how you can uh, fix a simple issue of um, not being able to add multiple magnet link that really sucks so uh, that's it for this video and I will be creating uh, some more videos that you can follow in the future uh, on Python. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. And many people ask me how to learn programming. So the what uh, the way I learn is by solving simple problems like this one. Like there, it really frustrates me. Like. Uh, when I use a torrent client that I am not able to add multiple torrent links and so I looked for a way around it and I created this I ended up creating this script to <laughs> solve my problem so if you do uh, your practice like this this will really help you in developing your logic and uh, in order to learn programming and how things work 
so that's it for this video and we will see you in the next one bye bye